Hello, this is part 9 of our tutorial where we are making uh, an interactive web application and uh, we uh, finished the previous part on uh, uh, materials changing interactively uh, metal materials for the legs and now we want to change the wood materials as well so this can be actually can be done just uh, exactly the, the way as we did uh, for the metals but I want to, sh to show you some other method on how you can change uh, like uh, properties of your material so instead of assigning a new material to your model we'll be changing just a texture and in some cases this can be very efficient approach because you can only change uh, textures on demand load them on demand instead of loading them all the textures of your application in bulk so sometimes it's uh, becomes uh, actually the only way to handle applications which uh, loads a lot of textures so let's show how we can use uh, replacing textures instead of assigning materials to uh, configure our model so uh, for now let's duplicate once uh, once once again and select blank wood so well actually let's start blank wood too because we already got our first uh, for first material assign it so let's let's assign this a brown material so uh, as I as we promised so we don't use this just delete it just hit delete key on your keyboard and instead of this go to materials and drag out the replace texture puzzle replace texture puzzle so so we need to uh, to insert some material uh, to this puzzle first in order for the options become available so how do we do this we just can add the selector material or we can just uh, copy this one from here control c control v and insert it to it and um, select our wood material because uh, it, this is the material which is assigned to our model already so now we get a menu here which is uh, wood base color one G jpeg this is how our texture on this material is called in blender so if we select some object which our wood one material is assigned we can see that it is uh, this is how this image texture node is named so um, uh, and uh, well j just uh, let's just rename it uh, just rename it uh, to say um, wood right and re-export re-export and then we refresh our puzzles uh, don't be sure to save refresh and it is now more like a more generic uh, name here so we'll be uh, replacing uh, this 
texture by a new texture and the path is uh, relative to the application and uh, because we uh, store our textures um, in the application folder we can um, just um, use uh, uh, its name straight away so let's um, see how it looks so let's uh, rename but we'll not be renaming it we're just copying its name here copy and paste jpeg right so uh, we'll be loading this texture from the root of our application folder and replacing this uh, texture I mean this texture with a real only texture actually in our material so this, this is needed when we, we get several textures in our material, in our shader. And uh, let's see how it works. So let's save it and run. Okay, check. Yeah, change it. So it's loaded um, with texture, applied it to our shader and this is good, but there's a little problem here uh, because uh, we actually have this wood one material uh, assigned it to the plank which is uh, should not change its uh, look because it's a, like a button so in order to fix this go to blender and um, yeah, this has happened because the material is shared across the model, so it's shared between these several models. So we want to make it not shared, and we do this by making a copy. So let's select um, uh, the uh, V blank. Uh, go to material and click on the button which displays the number of users and rename it like uh, wood um, well uh, I actually I'd prefer to rename the material which is now assigned it to uh, um, to this nightstand so let's leave it as it is wood one um, wood one uh, for consistency with uh, the wood two and wood three materials because we want them like uh, more uh, consistent between each other and instead we want to replace the material which is assigned to wooden part so let's make it wooden wood original so it will be like a target target uh, material which will be replacing textures in so let's save let export Expert GLTF expert and refresh. Okay, so now we want it to change not in the wood one material which is assigned to the plank, but rather in the wood original, which is just a copy, and it's uh, the name of texture actually are the same so let's check it save run and see what happens
okay so we still got problems this is because we need to uh, this texture is also shared you see it has three users in it so let's uh, make a copy let's make a copy as well so uh, maybe it also would original name it would original um, save and export okay let's refresh and ch check how it works <laughs> ah this is because I changed it to the name so I need to change it here save apply and run okay yes it works perfect let's do the other options duplicate um, let's make this actually wood one base color one and duplicate again three and three okay save and uh, because we change it because we change it the state by clicking here we change it the state and we don't want actually to to do to do the play to, to click the play because it's also changed so let's just just refresh it just refresh it and uh, this scenario is applied automatically we don't need to uh, click here are the play button again because it's applied automatically so let's check the alt button still work and the new button also work so uh, so we just finished with uh, changing textures and are ready to trigger the animation interactively which we'll do in the next part thanks for watching